So I'm going to tell you a story. And this is a story about a man named Jean. Yeah, Jean. Now, Jean is from France. Okay, we know where France is in Europe. Yeah, France. Yeah. So this was a story from France. And so, you know, Jean is kind of like John in English. John in English, but in French, in France, they speak French. French is the language. So they say John is Jean. Jean. Yeah. So this man is from France. So, um, yeah, Jean is his name. Now this story was from a long time ago in the past, in 1796. That's a year. Yeah, in the year 1796, so a long time ago in France. And at this time in France, a lot of people were very poor. There were some rich people in France, and they had a lot of money, nice clothes, big houses, but the poor people in France, like Jean, had no money, he couldn't find a job. Many people couldn't find a job. Yeah. So Jean, yeah, it was terrible. Yeah. So he was sad. I'll give him some hair. Um, he worked really hard and he looked for a job for months. He looked and looked for a job and he was strong and young. He wanted to find a job, but there weren't any jobs. And you know, Jean was a very good, honest man. Honest, honest. He didn't lie, he didn't steal. He was a very good, kind person. But you know, he was, he didn't have any money. He lived with his sister and his sister's family, but his sister's husband died and his sister had seven children. Yeah, that's a lot of children. Yeah, seven children. Right, yeah, so yeah, he didn't have enough money to feed seven children and for himself and his sister he didn't have enough money and they were all starving 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 like very very hungry yeah they were starving but they didn't have enough food they're very hungry so since Jean, Jean was an honest man, but he was so desperate for food. You know, desperate, desperate. Like he really needed food. He was desperate for food. Very hope. What? Um, okay, he really hoped, yeah, he really needed food. He was desperate for food and money. So one night, late at night, when it was very dark outside, Jean went to a bakery. There was a bakery outside, yeah. Bakery. Yeah, right, you can buy bread and cookies, cake at a bakery. The store by the food. Right, a store where you buy food like bread. Um, okay, yeah, usually we just say bakery, but yeah. Okay, yeah, in Chinatown, there are some bakeries, yeah. Yeah, I like the bakeries. Um, so he went to a bakery at night when the bakery was closed, and there was a window in the bakery. So Jean broke the window, and he put his hand in the window, and he stole a loaf of bread. You know, loaf, a loaf, a loaf of bread. Now, loaf, like 
uh, one whole, yeah, a loaf of bread, uh, because he wanted to take it home to give to his sister's children, and for him too. He was starving too. He was really hungry. So he stole the bread and he ran away, but there was a police officer nearby. Mm -hmm. And the police officer heard the crash when Jean broke the window. It was glass. It was a very loud sound. And so the police officer heard the sound and he saw Jean running away. So the police officer chased Jean, right? You know, chased, chased, uh, chase in the present, but in the past, chased. He ran after Jean chased the police officer so Jean was running and then the police officer was behind him running the police officer chased Jean and the police officer caught Jean and of course Jean went to jail because he stole a loaf of bread from a bakery so Jean went to prison so he was in prison. A prison is like jail. Usually, if it's for a long time, they say prison, prison or jail. Yeah. Jean went to prison. He was sentenced to prison. Sentenced to prison for five years. Yes. Okay. Wow. So we'd say sentenced to like he needed to go to prison, yeah, for five years. Yeah, it's a long time. So Jean was in prison. Now after four years, Jean escaped. He left prison secretly. Yeah, escaped. Escaped. Yeah, he escaped. Like, he got out of prison. But, but it was before, okay, yeah, he left prison. Now he was not supposed to leave prison, right? He was sentenced to prison for five years, but after only four years, he escaped. But a few days later, the police found him. Oh, yeah. yeah, and so the police took him back to prison and this time they sentenced him to six more years. Wow. <laughs> yeah. They gave him one more year. Uh, yeah. Well, so yeah, he already he did he did four years. Four years. He escaped. Now it's another oh, six. Well, another six, 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 years. six years. Yeah. So total ten years. Total ten years. So when he was in prison again for the six years, but he escaped. But a few days later, the police found him again outside. The police brought him back to prison and he was sentenced for eight years. Wow. Another eight, yeah, eight years. Yeah. So in total, he spent 19 years in prison. 19 years in prison just for stealing one loaf of bread. So it's a really long time. And so finally, after 19 years, Jean was released from prison. Released, released from prison. Like he left prison and it was okay. It was legal. The police, it was, you know, after the 19 years, the police said, okay, you could go, you are free. Mm. So Jean was released from prison. Mm -hmm. So Jean left prison. He's not in prison now. He's free. But, you know, prison changes people. Before, Jean was a very honest, kind, good person. But after being in prison, in prison,
season, he had to work very, very hard. It was a really difficult life. The guards in the prison were very cruel, 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 very mean. They yelled at the people in prison. Maybe sometimes they hit the people in prison. Yeah, very cruel. Not good, not nice, very horrible. So, you know, living in prison, it's a very difficult life. It's horrible. So, being in prison changed Jean. Now, he was not a good, honest person. Now, Jean was angry. He hated people. He, he had a lot of hate in his heart. So, Jean was released from prison. He got out of prison. He was free, but he didn't have anywhere to go. His sister had died, and all her children were grown up. They were older. So, Jean didn't really have family to go live with, and since Jean didn't have any money, he didn't have any food. So for a few days, Jean just walked around. He asked people for money. Sometimes he even, he knocked on people's doors at their house and they opened the door and Jean said, please, I'm hungry. I need a place to sleep. But the people just shut the door, closed the door. They didn't want to listen to Jean because you know, they saw this man, Jean, mm -hmm. had a very dirty appearance. 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 appearance uh, the way he looked, his appearance was dirty. He smelled bad. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, he was homeless. And the people didn't want to help this dirty, poor <clears throat> man. So, Jean walked around in the town, and finally, he came to a church. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, to a church. No, a church. A church. He came to a church. And so Jean went to the church, he knocked on the door, and a minister opened the door. A minister. So a minister works at the church, uh, like a leader at the church is a minister. So the minister, the minister opened the door, and he saw Jean. Now this minister was known for being a very good, kind man. Everyone in the town knew that the minister always helped people and was always very kind to poor people or hungry people. So when the minister opened the door and he saw Jean, and the minister said, oh, come in, come in to the church. You can have some food tonight. You can have dinner with us. And you can sleep here tonight in a nice bed in our warm church. Come inside. Now, Jean was surprised. And Jean said to the minister, why do you want to help me? All the other people didn't want to help me. They all just closed their doors when I asked for help. And the minister didn't say anything, but he just smiled at Jean. And so Jean came inside to the church. And the minister's sister was also in the church. Now, the minister's sister, when she saw Jean, 
she was not happy. She was upset. She saw Jean's dirty appearance, dirty clothes, and he smelled bad, and she was not very happy. And when the minister started talking to Jean, Jean told the minister, I was in prison for 19 years. And so when the woman, when the minister's sister heard this, she whispered to the bishop, be careful with this man. Maybe he's very dangerous. If he was a prisoner, he was in prison for 19 years, he's probably a bad man. But be careful. But the minister didn't listen to his sister. The minister said, oh, it's time for dinner. Let's eat dinner. Go, he said to his sister, go get the silver plates. You know, silver, mm -hmm. very expensive. Yeah, silver, wow. yeah, very expensive, <laughs> very nice yeah. oh. plates. Okay, plates to eat their dinner. Oh, eat, yeah, silver plates. Yeah, silver plates. Very nice, fancy, expensive plates. And the minister said, we need the best plates for Jean. He is our special visitor. Tonight is a special night because Jean is visiting us. And the sister was not very happy. She said to the minister, are you sure? This man, Jean, is a bad man. He looks bad. He was a prisoner. But the minister said, yes, we need the best for Jean. Get the silver plates and get the silver candlesticks. 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 Right. Ooh. Ah. You put candles in these candlesticks. Yeah. So silver candlesticks. Uh-huh. Yeah, candlesticks. Uh huh. Silver candlesticks. Because the minister said we want the best things for Jean: silver plates, silver candlesticks. So the minister's sister, she wasn't very happy, but she got the silver plates and the silver candlesticks and she put them on the table. And the three of them ate dinner together. Jean, the minister, and the minister's sister all ate the meal together. Now, after the meal, the sister cleaned the plates, the silver plates, and she put away the silver plates in the kitchen. But Jean was watching her and he remembered where she put the silver plates. So, later that night, when so the minister gave Jean a bed to sleep in, in a nice bedroom. So after the minister and the minister's sister went to sleep, Jean lay in his bed and he thought about those silver plates. And Jean thought, hmm, if I take the plates, the silver plates, I could sell them for a lot of money. I could be rich. I could get a lot of money for those plates. So Jean got up out of bed and he snuck to the kitchen. Snuck, snuck. Okay, in the present is sneak, but then in the past we'll say snuck. Like if he, he snuck, he went very quietly to the kitchen. So the minister and the minister's uh, sister would not wake up. He quietly snuck to the kitchen and Jean took the silver plates and then Jean ran away. He left the church and he tried to go very fast. 
he wanted to get far away from the church because he knew in the morning the minister and the minister's sister would wake up and see the silver plates were gone and they might try to find him. So Jean left the church, he walked fast, but you know, he had the silver plates. He took six silver plates. Whoa. Yeah, so there were six silver plates. So he took the six silver plates. Heavy. Okay, yeah, they're heavy, very heavy and pretty big. So when he was walking, carrying the silver plates, he couldn't really hide the plates because they're big, they're heavy. So he carried the plates while he walked. And so then when the morning came, more and more people were walking outside and the people saw Jean carrying six silver plates. And they saw his dirty appearance, he looked bad. They thought, oh, those can't be his silver plates. He must have stolen the silver plates. He probably stole the plates. So then, eventually, a police officer was walking down the street and the police officer saw Jean carrying the silver plates. So the police officer stopped Jean and said, you are a thief. A thief steals things. A thief, a person who steals. So the police officer said to Jean, you are a thief. You stole those silver plates. I know that the church has those silver plates. So you stole those plates from the church. So the police officer took Jean and walked back to the church to give the plates back to the church. And as they walked, Jean felt very sad. He felt angry too, because Jean didn't want to go back to prison, but he knew he stole those plates and the police officer caught him. So Jean knew, oh, I'm gonna go back to jail, back to prison, maybe for the rest of my life, for a long time. So when they went to the church, and so the police officer and Jean came to the church, the police officer knocked on the door, the minister opened the door, and the police officer said to the minister, this man is a thief. He stole your silver plates. And then the minister didn't say anything to the police officer. He turned to Jean and the minister said to Jean, my friend, you are back. I'm so happy to see you. You forgot the silver candlesticks. Remember, I gave you the silver plates and the candlesticks, but you forgot the candlesticks. Now, Jean was very surprised. He didn't understand. But, and the police officer too, the police officer was confused. The police officer asked the minister, so this man didn't steal your silver plates? And the minister said, no, no, I gave him the plates and I wanted to give him the candlesticks too, but he forgot the candlesticks. But yeah, I gave him the silver. So the police officer realized that he didn't have any work to do. John did not need to go to jail. So the police officer left. And then the minister went back in the church and a minute later, he came back outside with the candlesticks, the two silver candlesticks. And he gave the candlesticks to Jean. Now, when the minister gave Jean the candlesticks, he said, take these and use them to get money. You can sell 
the silver and get money. But use that money to start a new life. Leave your old life behind you, your bad life. Stop the bad life. Use the money from the silver to start a new life, a good, honest life. So Jean said, oh, thank you so much. Jean took the silver and he left the church. And as he was walking away, Jean thought about, why would the minister do this? Why was the minister so kind to me when I was a horrible person? I was a very bad person. I stole his silver, but he was kind to me. So then Jean decided he wanted to be a good, honest person like the minister. So from that day on, Jean turned his life around, turned, turned <coughs> his life around. It turned his life around, like he changed his life a lot. Jean decided he wanted to be like the minister. So Jean decided he would not steal anymore. Now he would be honest and he would help other people. The end. A good minister? minister. Yeah, the minister. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Changed the change life. Changed the life. Changed the life. Okay. Right, yeah, the minister changed Jean's life. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah he was a good example to Jean of how to help people, how to be nice and kind to other people. And the children, the children, the nice people and the honest people. Okay, yeah, that John changed <coughs> into yeah. a nice, honest person. And, and kind people. And kind, yeah. 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 So do you like the story? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Really like it. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, you tell the story very interesting. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think it's a good, interesting story. And the, the man, you know, this man who was dirty and homeless, but the minister wanted to help him. And, and the minister changed his life. Yeah. Yeah. So, have you heard this story before? No. No? no? Okay. First time. First time. <coughs> All right. Uh, I came to America changing my life. Oh, okay. Uh, from China. Okay, yeah. All right, changed your life in a good way? Yeah, okay, good. So um, this, this story is the first chapter of this book, Les Miserables. I'll write it up here. Les Miserables. <laughs> It's a famous book by a French author. Uh, the story was from France. And so this title is in French. Um, and it's written by Victor Hugo, a famous French writer. Yeah, so well, Les Miserables is in French, but in English we'd say The Miserables. The same spelling, same writing. Um, and so, you know, miserable people are like very poor people or unhappy people. They have a bad life. So the book is kind of about, you know, people like Jean who are poor and have a, a bad life. Um, so if you want to read this book uh, during our free reading time, you could read it. Uh, this was just the first chapter of the story. How much? How much? You how, want to buy it? How, you want to buy it? How much money? Yeah. Or So you can borrow it from me for free. Um, you can read it during our free reading time, or you could borrow it and take it home. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, I think 
It's a good story, an interesting story. Yeah.